Hey folks out there, this is TBPB. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Majora's Mask, The Ultimate Task. Alright, so um, last time I was an idiot and I foolishly took on the Bombers Gang's uh, quest again, you know, to, uh, to play hide and seek with them in order to get their code. But you know what? It turns out I don't actually need to do that. All I really need to do is go to East Clock Town and say the code again, like, um, you know, like we did as a Deku Shrub. Because, you know, we still know the same code that they're using now. Uh, because the code is going to be the same regardless of what day it is on. Um, but it's only going to be the same for that file. Like, it'll be different for a different file. So, um, and it'll be different for different game cartridges as well. So, hopefully I can remember this code. Okay. Um. Dang it. Alright, okay, let's... Let's try that one more time. Um, I don't think that's it. Yeah, okay. So I guess I'll cut it ahead till I get the code right. So um, cutting ahead. Okay, I think this is it. All right. Come on. Okay, there we go. All right, got it. Yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, so. You know, this is like one of them instances where you know you can kind of do the same thing as a uh, as a you know human, and you'll get a different result in the end. Um, but I gotta I gotta get that uh, moon's tear again because again I was being an idiot and I forgot to do something very important with that uh, moon's tear that you can do uh, on at midnight on any day. At least I think it's any day. I forget. Um, so yeah, and you know I gotta um. Uh, I gotta say, like, I've been experimenting with my, um, setups. Uh, I've really been trying to figure out a way to get it to where I can record my voice and the video separately. But, um, so far I haven't been able to, um, do that without any sort of serious issues. You know, like lag and desyncing and all that jazz. So, yeah. Um, if anybody has any tips or suggestions, you know, for recording uh voice and recording ah oh, oh, dang it i wanted to approach him as a human oh well yeah he's just gonna ramble on about skull kid again but yeah um yeah if anybody has any tips or suggestions on like how to record audio and video um you know audio from a, a mic and video and audio from a you know like a source like this emulator um let me know or something i don't know i don't know if if anything I'm saying right now is getting out to y'all because I know I understand this is you know this is complicated stuff so yeah Skull Kid uh yeah, we're gonna get him eventually we can't do anything about him now because you know if we try try to do what he did last time yeah things are gonna end badly for us so yeah um, let's head outside because you know apparently Looking at Skull Kid causes um, the moon to cry. <laughs> yeah, how does that work? All right, so we got the moons tier once again. Oh, you know what? I forgot to show y'all something. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to look through the through the uh, telescope. Dang, I'm so absent-minded today. Oh, yeah, oh, I guess he does say something different um, when you approach him as a human. Okay, so that's good. I hope my voice isn't like uh, you know causing the the audio to get all scratchy and stuff. Oh yeah, but there's a uh, business Deku Shrub flying out from the town. So see, pretty much he's gonna like fly around for like forever. And where he's gonna end up, he's gonna end up in that hole right there. Now you wanna see him actually enter that hole, so I'm just gonna cut ahead till he actually gets there because it takes so freaking long. So, cutting ahead. Okay, there he is. Took him long enough. Jeez. Alright, so yeah, once you see him enter the hole, you know, you can, uh, leave. Oh, man, I'm gonna have a great time editing all of this, yeah. Whoopee! Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, like, I got, I, since I'm still using this super old, um, desktop computer, you know, I, I don't really have a means of doing, you know, these things as, uh, you know, doing editing, uh, magic as flu fluidly as I could, you know, on my laptop, so I'm gonna, you know, have to experiment and find some good editing software, cause the Windows Movie Maker on XP 
doesn't. I don't think it does. You know, does it justice. But I mean, eh, I, I figure out what I can do. All right, so now we got the moons tier, and uh, we saw that uh, Deku shrub. Let's head back out. Um, I should be a um, Deku shrub because you know Deku Link. He moves a lot faster than uh, Human Link. But uh, if you come out as a human, you know, once you uh, leave this little alleyway or whatever, or try to leave, yeah, Jim approaches you and be like, hey, you know our secret hideout. Or so you know the code and all that jazz. So yeah, he's like, you're pretty good. So he respects us now. Yeah. Wow, so respect from Big Jim. What an honor. So he's going to make us a member of the Bombers gang. Yeah, we couldn't do it as a Deku shrub because they ain't like strange people. But oh, because we're a human, absolutely. So yeah, they got they're a bit prejudiced in this game. But, but you know, you don't you don't really think about that. But whatever. Um, but either way, we get the bomber's notebook. Yeah. So this allows us. This is pretty much gonna be the most integral item, like when it comes to side quests in this game. And uh, there's gonna be 20 people. Uh, that will be put in this book and when you make a promise to them or to one of these people that you know is going to be recorded in the book uh, like a message like that will appear and it'll let you know that you made a promise to them and you know uh, I guess those are stickers or something you, well, I'll show you I'll show it to you um, after Jim runs away or whatever okay yeah um, this is oh, okay, hold on. let me go to the quest status screen. Yeah, that's the bomber bomber's notebook. So you see how it has a uh, gem's face right there, and has how it has those blue marks. Um, and you see how it has first, second, and final. Those are the uh, three days. And each uh, quarter uh, or each column under the uh, first, uh, you see how there's four columns. That's each. Um, that's six hours. So right now we're. Um, uh, how do I explain this? You know, I'm going to explain it some other time, because right now I'm really not trying to get into all that. But long story short, um, we're going to be helping people out in this game. And, uh, you know, that's the stuff that we at, or they ask us to do will be recorded in that book. So, yeah. Um, now, in order to get across here, because I'm about to show you all something real quick. Uh, roll, and um, he'll jump out of Magli if you haven't. I already figured that out. Uh, but yeah, you gotta roll on that first jump in order to get across that huge gap because uh, Link goes further when he jumps. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna show y'all that this is a quick uh, money making trick right here. Just get 100 rupees, just like that. Now, if I remember correctly, um, the chests in Clock Town, they change from time to time depending on what day it is. So, sometimes chests might appear out of nowhere, and, you know, the other way around, you know, chests might disappear. Um, right now, I'm going to uh, speak to this Deku shrub, and, yeah, I'm going to cut ahead till I get the title D, so, cutting ahead. Okay, so we got the title D. I don't know why I cut that. I guess, I guess I'm just trying to, you know, speed up this video as much as I can. Because, you know, I really want to start uh, heading towards the swamp. In this video, especially because you know it took it's taking me forever to upload. I'm so sorry, folks, um, for you know whoever even watches my videos. Um, you know, I just I just really haven't had the time to upload and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, we got the uh, title deed. Um, now I want to try to uh, get my bank or get my um. Uh, you remember how we can deposit stuff in this uh, bank right here. I want to try to get my account up to 200 rupees. So I guess since I only have, since I only um, have, uh, how much do I have now? Since I only have 177, I'm going to need to get a few more rupees. So I'll cut ahead till I get 200 rupees. So cutting ahead once again. Uh, Okay, alright. Um, and we're back. You know what, I'm gonna stop saying cutting ahead, cause I, I think, um, I think at this point in time I should just like, you know, cut it automatically. I mean, I don't, I shouldn't have to point it out, but either way we just got the adult's wallet. Um, you know, so, depositing 20 rupees, we get the adult's wallet. So yeah, um, but I'm gonna withdraw some of those rupees back, because I wanna do something else. 
uh, now that we have, you know, now that we're all human and all, you know, because there's a lot of stuff that opens up, um, and I want to take advantage of that, so yeah, and, you know, since I'm trying to 100% this game, and all that, so, yeah, went ahead in here, this is the swordsman school, alright, so, uh, speak to this dude, wow, some crazy hair, you know, I love how his face is moving, like, it's like his hair is static and his face is moving away from his hair. That is so weird. <laughs> what the heck, man? Um, but yeah, we want to take the expert course here. Yeah, okay. Um, if you don't remember, uh, um, well, I'll, I'll tell you. What we got to do is a jump attack on all these logs in order to get uh, the maximum amount of points, which is 30. Um, in order to jump attack, you need to uh, Z target the log or Z target your enemy. Um, have your sword out and press A without uh, moving the joystick. Oh, ooh, barely got that one. Yeah, um, you don't want to move the joystick, otherwise he'll um, do a different kind of slash, or he'll um, mess up his, you know, accuracy or whatever. So yeah. All right, so there we have it. I must give you something here and he gives us a piece of heart so yeah now we got four heart containers wow that looks so weird because it's like the first time I've had four heart containers in an OP um, so yeah all right um, real quick this is the lottery shop um, I'm not gonna bother going in there because that place is pretty much pointless it's like you have a random chance at winning a lottery which is like probably 50 rupees or something it, it's not worth it um, this is the bomb shop right here we can't do nothing about uh, in there yet um, they sell bombs if you you know couldn't figure that out uh, this is the trading post we came in here earlier uh, to speak with mr. scarecrow um, you can pretty much buy items there like Deku nuts, um, arrows, berries, that kind of stuff, but I'm not going to worry about that either. Um, this is the curiosity shop right here. Now, this shop, you can sell items that are like um, things you keep in a bottle and stuff, and you also, um, on random times, he'll also have things that you can buy from him. Uh, it's kind of one of those shady shops, you know, that I guess is like kind of like the black market you know th you know things sell undercover or you know under the officials eyes or whatever but I mean it's it's one of those places that we're gonna have to come back to later uh, in the game so yeah uh, okay so I guess that's about it folks um all right so I guess I pretty much did everything I need to do in uh, Clock Town, so yeah, let's head on out um, for now, because we're, we're going to be coming back uh, later, just FYI, but for now, let's head let's head out. Um, so stop right there. Have you some errand in the swamp? It's dangerous outside these walls. Uh, yeah, so I can't allow a child like you to... Uh, a sword? My apologies, sir. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child. The southern swamp at Woodfall lies in this direction. Be careful. Yeah, because we got a sword now everybody's respecting us and that kind of stuff so yeah all right Termina field oh we won't be able to enjoy the uh, music because it's almost nighttime dang it oh well we'll, we'll hear it some other time um, so yeah this is the main field of the game uh, now real quick uh, you see where that that dome that blue dome is with the weird looking telescope that's the observatory and remember there was a hole over there that um whoa uh, what the heck <laughs> um i don't know why my camera was like that but there's the hole over there where that uh, business scrub went to uh since i don't have enough rupees yet i'll worry about that some other time um but for now let's just uh, head out here and uh, be on our way head to the swamp yeah Alright, if you uh, haven't noticed, this field is comprised of four basic areas. Like, this is the swamp area. Whoa. That's, uh, that's, we'll, we'll be seeing that uh, in a bit. There's, a, there's, a, there's actually a hidden, or, see, or you know, like a, a exit on the side right there. But, you know, there's like four areas in this game. So, just giving you, um, you know, giving you like a, I guess a, 
well, you can't really see it in the map, but yeah, just trying to give you a good layout of how things work in this game. But okay, now you see. Oh, well, dang it. Well, I was going to show you that, that that no matter what you do, you always run over that Deku flower for some odd reason. I guess the the game the uh, game designers had to position him that way so this cutscene would make sense or something. I don't know. But oh, I remember this. Tail and I drew this uh, with Skull Kid when we first met him. Ah, uh, she's going back through memory lane. He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and they had left him all alone. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Oh, it's Tail and Tattle. Yeah, you gotta take shelter from the rain. I guess fairies don't like, you know, getting wet either. Aw, oh, he's shivering. Yeah, that's nice. They're looking out for one another. I guess that's this is where they first meet Skull Kid. So yeah, he's shivering too. Oh, so that's how his fa face looks. Looks like he has a beak. I mean, am I, am I tripping, folks? Is that a beak? Or, you know, is that something else? Whatever, I guess, you know, I guess, like, times like this, like, you know, uh, I guess, um, what am I trying to say? Like, you know, when people are struggling and stuff, that brings people closer together or something. I, 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 I don't know, my, my thoughts are, like, slipping right now. I'm, like, really, uh, being absent-minded right now. But, yeah, they're just, you know, having the time of their lives and, you know, just enjoying being carefree. And that's that's a little picture that they drew. That's nice. Yeah, but I'm sure it was because he was always playing tricks, so nobody wanted to play with him. Uh, because he was a trickster. But to do what he did because of because of that. Um, so this is when he, uh, you know, I guess knocked out the mad salesman. However, he did that. But this is where he gets the Majora's mask. Once he got his power, I guess she's saying that, you know, once he got, you know, that power, he pretty much became a whole different person. So, that's kind of sad, you know. I don't know, I mean, you know, you gotta hate Skull Kid for doing all of this, but maybe the uh, power is corrupting him or something. Oh, we got Wolfos. Yeah. Alright, uh, dang it. Um, Wolfos, they tend to, they tend to guard any attack that, you know, you do head on. So you always want to wait for them to attack and then turn around, then, uh, wait for them to turn around so that their tail ex is exposed. And then just do a jump attack. That'll finish them off real easily. Um, whoa! Oh, that actually hit him? Wow. Dang it. Ah, uh, he blocked it. You saw that? Um, whoa! There we go. Ha ha! Okay, um, I wanted to turn into a Deku Shrug to uh, shoot these bats over here. Yeah. These are called bad bats in this game, not keys for some odd reason. Whoa! Um, dang! There's this one bat that, like, no matter what you do, he'll always be up there, so you have to shoot him in order to climb. Dang it! In order to climb up that tree. Um, let, let me take care of these uh, bats real quick, so. Uh, things will get on my nerves. Alright, here we go. Yeah. And doing all that, we get another heart piece. So, yeah. Alright. Oh, yeah. Just FYI, when you collect a heart piece in this game, uh, you'll recover, you know, all your hearts. So, that's good to know. Oh, uh, I think this is our first time of seeing, um, mini babas they're like the deku babas in the previous game but they're so small they won't um they can't really lunge at you so you know just don't get too close to them uh, you know spin attacks you know will finish them off so that's nice and these are deku babas but they're kind of weathered you know they're kind of stiff um for some odd reason so doing that while they're stiff we get a deku stick so you know that's that's an item that we can use as a torch, or we can use as a stronger sword, I guess, if you want to call it that. Let's see what's in this chest. 
20 rupees. Nice. You know, I don't think I explained this, um, but uh, in this game, uh, green, small green rupees are 1, uh, blue rupees are 5, um, red rupees are 20, purple rupees are 50. Um, I think there's also a big green rupee that's also 50. They also got um, big yellow rupees that I think are 100. So, yeah, that's nice. Ah, oh, dang. You know, um, if an enemy goes over um, a Deku flower while you're in it, if you pop out, um, you can kill that enemy. So, you know, that's just something to keep in mind. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what? Oh, I guess he disappeared. Oh, yeah. Uh, here's Tingle up here. But, um. Hey! Ugh, stupid wolfos. You know what? Dang it! Come on! Okay, you know what? I'm getting tired of these things. Fight me! Yeah, things are so annoying. Alright, let's uh, pop Tingle's bubble. Yeah. Alright, so uh, let's, let's speak to him as a human. Um, oh, he's he, he's gonna uh, say the same thing as like if we first met him. Yeah, thinks he's a forest fairy, but he he thinks he's a forest fairy, but he he wants a fairy to come to him. So I'm not sure if he's he thinks he is a fairy or he wants a fairy. I don't, I don't know. But, yeah, either way. Oh, yeah, I don't know what I was talking about when I said that people actually liked this dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I think there's very few Tingle fans out there. But, um, you see, uh, now the Woodfall, um, map is 20 rupees instead of 40 rupees like it was in Clock Town. Because when you buy a map in the area that it's in, it's, uh, usually cheaper than, you know, if you buy it ahead of time. You saw how there was another map that we could have bought that cost 40 rupees which is outrageous um so yeah i'm not gonna buy that it, you know not just because i don't have the rupees and because it's not worth it um so yeah and with that said i think um i'll stop it or you know uh stop um stop right here so yeah uh we enter the southern swamp um i guess next time we'll explore figure out what we gotta do to, um, you know, that tail, or didn't really tell us to do, yeah, we'll just explore and see where if we can find the one who is here, so, uh, next time we'll do this, just that, so, this is TPP, see you guys later!